lately I've been talking a lot about the laws of God uh, through Ezekiel because God says we are rebels as a country. Uh, we are rebels. We are rebelling against the laws of God. And he's talking about the Ten Commandments and there's so many aspects of that 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 we just sit there and say, well, that doesn't matter now. Or, but it matters. It all matters. Whether you agree with it or not, that does not matter. Uh, whether you approve of it or not, that doesn't matter. But the laws of God do matter. They matter to him. And he's, an, he's a never-changing God. He's the same now as he was at the beginning of creation. And I'm making this video specifically to say that, you know, here I got the sun setting on me. It's Friday night. And we have to honor the Sabbath. I mean, we have to wake up to this thing that, you know, just because we don't like the idea of not working on Saturday, we have to honor that thing. And for many people, that's a different thing. So for example, you know, your Sabbath may be something different, but for me, it means what it means. It means Saturday is the Sabbath. and. Uh, so this is all I'm posting. This is it. This is all, I didn't post anything last Saturday because I've, you know, what Ezekiel says is we are rebelling against the laws of God. And we know that he's talking about the laws of God because it says it tastes sweet like honey to his lips. And David said he meditates on the laws and it tastes sweet like honey to his lips. And because meditating on the laws of God make us wiser than the ancients, according to David. So, you know, this is important that we actually pay attention to the small things, regardless, you know, because I would say murder is a lot worse than not honoring the Sabbath. But to God, it's still one of the 10, and, and there's only 10. And I think, you know, and I, I really kind of thought about it because I was supposed to meet somebody for some work tomorrow. I'm down in my land, and I was supposed to meet somebody for work, and they're going to call me later. I'm going to tell them, don't meet me tomorrow. Like, cause it also says, don't make other people, don't make your servants work either. He's obviously not my servant, but he's somebody that I'm hiring to do work and I'm not going to have him work on a Saturday. Um, these are things that we have to just, the little things matter when it comes to the 10 commandments. There's only 10. The other thing that I've learned from Ezekiel regarding these 10 commandments is that, you know, Ezekiel gives a direct timeline on how long the Israelites will be cast out from, from, from the nation of Israel. And that's all mostly based on, like he gives exact numbers in Ezekiel 3. And those are based on the numbers of years they did not rest the land. God said, you know, give land, the land the rest every seventh year, and they didn't. And God, he's going to get his time. I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, you may say, well, I'm not going to rest, but he's going to have you rest. You're going to make those days up one way or the other, whether you're bedridden or whether you're up on your feet and enjoying your day and keeping it holy. So keep it holy. Um, and as long as I can get this thing uploaded and edited and uh, there before the sun goes down, it should be there tomorrow. But keep it holy. Take them seriously. You know, this is something that I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I just can't immediately not work on Saturdays. I understand. I, I used to work. I, I was a waiter for many years. I was a bartender for many years. Um, I worked in retail for many years, all through college. And um, I get that. I totally get that. But you have to kind of honor it in some way, uh, working towards that Saturday Sabbath, because that is the day of the Sabbath. But at least say, well, okay, I'm, I'm off on Monday. Let's keep that day holy. Like, just... God knows your spirit and, and keep it holy. Like just do your best to keep that day of rest and keep it real and keep it holy.